Well, it's a typical miserable winter day around here. Most of the snow has already melted, but I got this all piled off of here under here with the thought that I'm going to try to fix the lights on here. But the ground is soaking wet and it's nasty. And so what I think I'm going to do is see about bullying this trailer <laughs> with the loader and seeing if I can just pick it up about 45 degrees or so and work on my lights real quick. It should not be a problem. However, typical winter day, nothing will start around here. So I guess I'll take the pickup down with the jumper cables and we will, uh, you know, get the loader tractor started because we don't have any electric in the barn right now, as you recall, when we took the electric line down to fix the roof, which never got put back because I don't get things done. So yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. We'll get started right after this. Welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Ross the Oliver Man, and we're going to go down and jump start the old loader tractor. I guess I'm gonna have to put batteries in it too. The cold weather the other day finally turned the screws on them and they just gave up. So, hopefully this will start. There. I don't like snow, I'll be honest with you. Snow is fine on Christmas day and on manger scenes and that's about it. Otherwise, let's forget it. Let's have summer all year. Let's get this truck nice and muddy because there's something I'm gonna do to it after a while. So let's, let's drive it through all the muck and just, you know, round out our day of sadness. Oh, more ice. That's nice. All right. What are the chances that I'm going to get there without slipping and busting my canoots? In? Probably not very good. Come on, buddy boy. Start. Give it some hard pounders. no procedure for what I'm about to do, so we're just going to see what happens. That's kind of like what I envisioned. Okay, fun fact, that actually cleaned off the deck of the trailer too, I can hear, so yeah. Why wouldn't we do it this way? Looks kind of different when it's up there in the air like that, don't it? Is it safe to be under it? That's like a secondary priority right now. We're not too worried about. Yeah, kind of ominous sounding. But basically, I wanted to check out my situation here. It's got conduit run, see? And all my wiring's in there. 
However, sadness has happened in a few places where the axle has crunched it up. But the wire's still loose in there, and I think I can just taper up and pull new all the way through is what I'm really hoping is going to take place. But then I'm going to do it slightly differently in the fact that I have uh, got some junction boxes like you'd have in your house. And I'm thinking about running the conduit into that. And then that way, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like if I do that up here somewheres or whatever, then in theory, everything should be kept nice wherever you splice the stuff together. Although the front, ideally, there wouldn't be, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I know I got to have one in the back because the back, I went both directions with it. It looks really crappy when you look at it like this, but this red wire is just a ground to get ground to the back of the trailer. But yeah, don't know. So I'm supposing that the best thing a guy could do is start back here and mount up this box question mark i don't know like i said i have no plan but we're gonna make it work somehow all right the best part about this is i have absolutely no plan i was going to tape the new wire to the old wire and try to feed it through but with the setup that i brought i don't know how i'm going to do that so i'm thinking let's just start hacking and see what happens. We're gonna put us a box in about right here, so we'll probably just hack her right there. So, where could I set you that you will not get hurt by the flames, but also you'll be able to help the paramedics reconstruct my death? I'll probably put you back over here on the tractor, see? said you couldn't have your cake and eat it too. Let's cut this up here. Wire delete. Don't need all them wires. All right, so my plan is one of these jobs here on the end of this, and then we'll put the box in here. And that'll give us some place to make our connections to go to both lights out the back. And hopefully our lives will be happy. I don't know, but it's worth a try. Something different. Every time we rewire this, we do something different. So why not today? Okay. I hope you're still recording because that took me longer than I thought it would. But I'm keeping that wire attached temporarily right now because I want to get this all squared away, which we know the problem is that it's rough on the edges and I should have cleaned that up and I didn't. Why? Because that would have made sense. Nothing I do makes sense. If we can make that go. Oh, I don't want it to go up the... There it goes. I want it to drive the conduit up. Now, I fully assume that I'm going to have these sticking through the other side and I'm going to have to saw them off. But that's okay. We'll live with it. <laughs> And I fully assume that I'll twist them off. So that's cool. I don't think the hardware boy fully understood me when I said what I wanted and why. So we're going to put more than one in before we finally tighten them down. There's what I wanted. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sure. Oh, we're just having a great time. It doesn't want to hold on to my stuff. There. We're getting there. Let's just fill all of the holes. Yep, there we go. Okay. Can we do this too and make a mess of our lives? Sure. That looks pretty. I've got little knockouts for both of these to do the to each yeah. But I don't know now if that's really what I want to do, but we'll figure that out. No, let's stick with our plan. See, that's going to go on there and be blocked off when we're done. And then we'll put these on there. And that'll let us get our really nice exit from the box. Mm-hmm. Sure. We like it when we mess everything up. That's kind of there. Get this out of our way so we can see right now. Oh, yeah. Sure. Oh, that sucks a lot, but. That's just the way she is. she rolls. I definitely broke that. Okay, well, that sucks a lot. All right, so about now you're saying, why are you doing what you're doing? Well, it's become obvious over the years that every seven or eight years, just replace all the wires. It's not worth it. You can troubleshoot and mess around and you're still gonna have problems, so. I'm just going to pull new through here, tape the new to the old, and hopefully be able to pull her all the way through to the other end where we are going to potentially uh, change our setup here too. Like perhaps junction box it. Perhaps put the junction box in there somewhere. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do. But... I don't like it being in the open more than it has to be because it gets tore off, but uh, I don't know. We'll come up with that in a minute. The first thing we're going to do is pull wiring. And what I might actually do is get this loose somehow and just pull the wiring through right to there. Because I don't know about all that. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Not at all sketchy. Let's go. Guys. Why didn't you put it to the side when you did this the first time? I might have actually followed suit with what was here the last time. I can't remember. Yeah, that's a dang. Dangerous. Oh, that sucks a tremendous amount. Also, I found the point of the failure, so that's super cool. I guess we're putting the box there because we broke that. I'll show you what I found in just a second. You're going to think it's something else. Get rid of that. Will that come off of there? Using tools inappropriately. Okay, so let's peep this. Dum dum me didn't get that conduit all the way through that hole or it backed out. Probably when a, the axle smushed it. And it's been doing this number right here. So, yeah, that's handy. Let's just cut that right there.
And the reason we're doing this is because for whatever reason on the trucks, it's blowing fuses because of that, see? And it would only do it on dad's truck to start with. And then here a while back, I started doing it on that one too. So now it's the time that we need to go. So I suppose, and we're gonna hope that this will pull through. It would probably be better if I took the spiralness out of this wire. <coughs> Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. We hit the first snag, but it worked. All right. Good deal. So if we put the other box here, then at least there will be a good run where we know that it's good and protected. And we can always splice to that. But I'm just going to go ahead and run this through as far as I can go. Because then what I do is up here, I'll splice in a four-way plug and then i put an adapter pigtail on that has what our trucks have and that way it gives you in case somebody forgets it gives some place for it to disconnect where it'll pull loose from there instead of ruin ruining your wire on the trailer i've done that for several years and it's worked really good so uh and then i can have an extra one of those pigtails ready and just swap see because sometimes people forget and drag this on the ground and ruin it. So I've just got my setup going so that it everything works right. So I'm hoping now that I can put that box there and everything will be cool. And we'll be on our way. But that's the way she's going to be. We're going to have to go through there. Which I did not bring another wire deal I don't think see this one store didn't have everything I needed and then that kind of messed me up and then my brain shut off ooh it may have had another extra watch of me though so our back end of the trailer might be fine here in a minute and I'm also thinking about maybe doing this number here Nah, that's going to just be extra nonsense. Oh, that's not good. Don't do that. That's proof enough there that this is stupid. I think I might have what I need in the because I use this conduit in the house running circuits and whatnot so I'm gonna go down there and see if I don't happen to have one of these three-quarter size then I'll put it in there and that'll keep this nice and then all we'll do is just we'll staple it to the underneath of the trailer and then feed it through the factory loops and then that end will be simple the back end will need some wiring but uh, yeah, we're going to make this happen and it's going to be simple. We know already that our trouble was not this, which I questioned. Uh, so I'm going to just reuse this pigtail and it should be fine. We can test it out on all the trucks or whatever. Uh, we'll just wire up our other end for that. So give me a minute. I'll go see what happens. And that's what we can do or we can work on this end i really don't care i got another roll of wire because this definitely is not enough uh i suppose it's enough to go to this light here but yeah i guess that's what we'll do because i have 28 percent battery left and i know it's not going to last till the end of this project so i might as well make use of it now and make one trip inside so we're going to switch gears we'll worry about the front in a minute Let's see about fixing this up. All right, the first thing I did was totally ruin this, but luckily I had brought another one, so we're gonna swap that out. And if we do it right, we'll ruin this one too. 
that's what you always want to do is just totally make a mess of your life so sure we need to give ourselves some wire here because what we're actually going to have to end up doing is we're going to end up going uh you know two wires in one end and one wire out the other end so we get our our three things so this is going to go through here why not why not use power tools that are going to ruin it you know why not do that If you think this video is boring to watch, imagine how I feel editing it, how stupid it is, you know? This is going to go through something like that. So probably about right there, I'm going to tape it just to give it some something else between it and the clamp is what I'm saying. I don't like to clamp right to the stuff. So then I'll give that. We can work with that. That'll hold that. Nice. And then we'll just go right to that light right there. So that got, got that one done pretty simple. The next one, we will go all the way to the other side. And what we will do for that one is staple it to the underneath of the trailer boards. I have a staple gun that has a little wire guide thing and that should help us make that happen. So anyway, I need to get my other roll of wire because yeah. And actually we are going to have some waste because you only need two of the wires to go over. And I'm tempted to try Am I tempted to try that, to reuse, reduce, and recycle? What if I were to reuse this end because it looks like it's fine? Then at the very least, if it doesn't work, the only thing that's not working is one tail light slash turn signal, and we can always go back and fix it later. So let's do that. That way we're sure to really make a mess of everything go under that red wire the red wire can dangle it's just the ground friends we'll staple it up in a minute but I'm thinking that if I just go ahead and do this I can save myself a whole roll of wire for a but then for B I can also uh, you know what I'm saying why waste this wire if that wire's good. We don't know that that wire's good, but it sounds like it in theory. That just sounds like a great idea I just came up with. Even though I just told you at the beginning that I always replace all the wires because they're trouble. But we're in a hurry situation here, friends. Like, we gotta get going. I mean, this trailer's going out in a day, so it needs to have some kind of lights of some sort. At least where it doesn't blow the lights on the picture. Now, I didn't do enough, so that's typical of my life. Not doing it the right way. Thinking you are, but just not doing it the right way. Under there. Alright. Now... See, if I was doing this for someone else, I probably would take much more care of what I was doing. But just for me, who cares? You know? Is it worth it? No, it's not. I'm not too smart. So, if I were to just... Yeah, I like this idea, and I'm rolling with it. If it turns out to be stupid, why are we surprised, you know? So we got the brown, which is the tail lights, and the yellow, which is left turn 
and that plays out right. And then we got green is right turn. So the green and brown go above you. And then we'll also take the white wire for the ground. Even though the only reason that's important is that's where I ran this red wire to this other light. It's a mess, but I don't remember what the deal was with it. If it was already under here and I just went with it. The trailer was not getting a good enough ground from the front of the back for some stupid reason. So this nasty red wire has just been helping us out. I'll staple it here in a minute when we get more staples. Now that I can work on the trailer with it in the air like this, see? So basically, we got to do our splicing now. And that shouldn't be too much trouble. All right. Well, got a new battery. Got some more supplies. Got that done, actually. Because I was tired of waiting. Got this job, which has a little wire guide. I've had this stapler for years, but it lets you be able to staple stuff without smooshing the wire, which is kind of handy, especially in the situation that we're in right now. Oh, that ain't gonna work there. Just to keep them up where it's not gonna get into the anything or drag on the ground. And why I didn't do this last time, I don't know. Probably I just didn't care. You know? That happens. Not sure. See, right now if it fell, it would kill me. But that's okay. I've lived. So we're not gonna make it too tight because we don't wanna we want it to be able to have somewhere to go. We're gonna have to put a new floor on this trailer before too much longer. That'll be the second one. Since I've owned it. Oh, we're out. But you know what? I knew that we would be, so I brought more. I prepared for a change. That's ground. Just staple the crap out of it. Get out of there, you. I don't care. All right, so now with that fun job done, I did in fact find one of these. Let's get this. There we go. Love it. Thought it'd be nice to leave a little extra in case there was a problem at some point, but that'll probably come back and bite me later. Sure, that's in there. Let's put the cover on. I like how I'm standing right in front of the camera so you can't see nothing. Isn't that nice? Underside, huh? Sure. That's very nice and technical. Yeah. Okay. Now, all we got to do is follow the original path. And then we can set the trailer back down because it doesn't need to be standing up precariously in the air the whole time. This is smooth enough. We might tape on it. All the time. Let's get there first. Let's let's get it wound in some more places. Okay, so I think I will give it a tape job there. Uh. I've not been having great luck, unfortunately, with that uh, heat shrink that the viewer sent me. 
it doesn't seem to want to shrink down quite enough and I've been fighting that so I guess if you were using metal terminals or just tying wires together maybe you could get it but I haven't been having good luck with it I'll find uses for it here and there but it's going to take me a long time to get through the 400 pieces because this is the second or third time I've tried it on stuff and I'm just not sold on that as the only method but anyway uh -huh. would make sense to do it nice and smooth all right i'm not sure that my staple thing will do this safely I'm afraid it's gonna, yeah, I don't know about that. I'm gonna have to manhandle it or something into a circular shape, maybe. I like how nice and flat it is, but I don't trust myself here. Well, that made it tons worse. You know what? Does the ground wire matter? Maybe not. Oh boy. See, I can go like this. Just barely goes in there. Mm-hmm. So that'll definitely short out eventually. And the road vibration will eat that out. Okay, I think we're ready to set it back down. The only thing we gotta wire up back here is this light, which we can do from above. And then the plug on the front. trailer floor too cool okay dealer's choice i guess let's start in back and get this over with we need the ground the green and the brown and this is the wad of stuff that we have so let's just take that let's just take oh see it's all zip tied together There we go. And how do we want to do this? Well, the box is right there. Let's just say right about there. So we don't need the yellow, which is good because I'm not having good luck with it. I've been having a lot of trouble getting it to pull apart like it should. There. Now that we've got it totally destroyed, I think we're good. Let's start with green because that's the most pathetic one here. Or some of that extra. We can try some more of that heat wrap, but I can tell you what it's going to do. If it would just shrink a slight bit more, it would be much more better. Make sure it'll go over that. 
Now that I got a lot of room, maybe I can get it to work on this one. That could have been part of my trouble as well. There. Okay. That's too much, but that's life. these gloves on fire yet. That'll be fun when I do that. There we go. It might work this time. Probably because I just said it wouldn't. Yep, I think it's going to do it this on this one. That would be awesome. Then I don't have to fool with the tape. You know. See, it's like that last little bit. It just doesn't want to go. But that's better than I have had. So. Sweet. All right. Good deal. I'm going to wrap it with tape now so that it doesn't go all over the place. I don't think they will, but... Well, this project is taking way longer than I thought. Now, for this end, see, I like to go a few wraps, like, around here, and then put my plug on. Let me see what I got. I got an end to splice on. Let me go get that. All right, so that's done. So let's go get the dick truck. See if the lights work. I'm hoping that I didn't blow anything on this truck the last time I used it, but I don't think so. This hasn't been started in a while. Let's we're gonna see what kind of cold start it'll do. Alright. Come on. It starts every time. Might be a little bit angry at first, but it'll start. Close enough. Yeah, I'm close enough. All right. Do we have tail lights? Yes, we do. We have good ones. I could have put the four-way flashers on because it's the same wires that do everything, but kind of nice to visualize it. 
Okay, flashing light there. I can already see we got the flashing light there. Good deal. If the turn signals work, the brake lights will work because they're on the same circuit. The turn signals are your brake lights. So it all goes through there. At least on a Ford. Can I see it from back here? If I hit the brakes. Oh yeah, I can see it light up. So yep. Well, that I don't know that that was really an interesting topic for a video, but I got something fixed. And now what I'm needing to do with this is take it to Kentucky and load it with coal because that's what I burn in my furnace. How dare you! Anyway, we're gonna call it quits there. I need to get sideboards put on uh, so that it doesn't fall out on the way back. But once we do that, we should be in good shape. So, yeah. As always, if you enjoy my videos, give them a thumbs up. That helps out the channel and it doesn't cost you anything. Leave a comment. Tell me that you liked it or tell me that you hated it. Tell me I'm a moron. I really don't care, but anything that you say helps us out too. So thank you again, as always, for watching, and I will see you in the next one.